All right, Larry's 61, just got laid off. Here's what he should do. Uh, I have a sneaky suspicion. Many of you all are gonna be going through this. Uh, you know, I could, I mean, I'm laid off by myself. I mean, I have my own job, my own company, my own business, and if I get laid off, it's because I can't afford the bills anymore. Uh, so for me, being laid off is a close out of my business. But anyway, so Larry, uh, not his real name, he called me this morning and we went over his stuff. and. Uh, so let's dive into this, and I think you'll get some out of this for sure. Um, and I asked if I could use it. Larry's not his real name, but I asked if I could use his stuff to give a video. He said, absolutely. So uh, I'm gonna, I got to get a new board back there. It's, it's getting harder and harder to write on. So um, my man Alberto said, spray it with WD-40. Maybe I'll do that again and let it just kind of fester on there for a little bit, see if it comes in. But if it doesn't, maybe hopefully you can read this a little bit. All right, so uh, and I got, you know, look, man, I, I opened up a brand new pack of these things here. Still not working that well. All right, so Larry is 61, Barb is 62. Larry was making big bucks, man, big bucks. They just sold a house in some part of Georgia, and they bought a new house in another part of Georgia. Uh, they 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 used the proceeds to put into cash. So they basically netted 300000 bucks when all said and done, and they bought a new home. Uh, in another part of Georgia for which they have a mortgage of $2,100. It's a 30-year mortgage. That sucker is going to be with them for the rest of their lives, which is not, not inherently wrong with that. And the mortgage of $2,100 is property interest, uh, principal interest, taxes, and insurance, by the way. So $2,100 a month is their monthly payment, which will never go away. Can't do reverse mortgage here because they don't have any equity. I mean, they got 5% equity. So they're stuck with that mortgage as much as I wish it were not so, but they were stuck with it and they have the cash. And now they want the cash. I'm telling you right now, this is good. I mean, well, I'd rather they had no mortgage, but in terms of having a mortgage and having the equivalent in cash is in this day and age is not a bad thing. Uh, Larry uh, is making good money. There's no, I mean, he had a couple interviews. Uh, one that looked like it was pretty promising uh, before the commie virus sit, situation set up uh, came in, and and I, I don't know. We're we're assuming he's not gonna. A 61-year-old guy in his line of work, uh, it's going to be tough for him to get any kind of near the income he was making before. It's all there is to it. He, he seems to recognize that. Uh, so we talked about, like, what if he did not work? Would he, you know, be suicidal or something like that? And I don't say that flippantly. I literally say that, would you be okay? And he said, yeah, absolutely. That's about his wife. We'll call her Barb. Uh, she worked before, uh, you know, kind of off and on, but, but, you know, did work in the medical field of some sort. Uh, she hasn't worked for a while and is not working now. I said, well, she'd be okay if you don't work. And she goes, yeah. And I said, okay, good. So at least in terms of mentally, they're fine. But, you know, they did follow their grandkids, which is what we will do the Scanlons once we have grandkids. Um, and this is their situation here. It's pretty simple. It doesn't mean it's easy. It's simple. So they got, so Larry at his full retirement age, because he was making good money, will get 3000 a month in Social Security. Barb pulled the trigger um, uh, at 62. She turned 62 in December, I think is what he said, and they pulled the trigger on hers. And she she's getting 750 at uh, 62 years old. All right, so she's that's what she's getting right now. So we'll talk about that here a little bit more in a second. Again, they sold their house, they got $300,000 cash, and they got essentially a mortgage of a little bit over $300,000, but, but again, that'll never be paid off, and so their mortgage payment is $2,100 a month. They need about $2,800 a month for regular living expenses, filling up the car, you know, do doting on their grandkids, whatnot, um, and everything. Now, they, the, the issue here is they're on COBRA right now. It's at $1,300 a month at COBRA. So park that in the back of your mind, because this is a... Uh, a wild card. All right, we talked about that quite a bit. They got two hundred fifty thousand in Larry's IRA slash four hundred one k. He's going to roll it to an IRA, and they got a hundred thousand bucks in a brokerage account. Both these are invested pretty aggressively. All right, which uh, in this case is is good. I'd rather have. I'd rather that not be the case later on, but for the time being, that's the way you want it for sure. Um, and I'll share with you why here in just a second. All right, so we're looking at. We're saying okay. So in this case, they need seven. Um, they need. When all said and done, they need, we're just gonna say 5,000 a month in income, all right? Oops, five, I should've put an MO there for month. 5,000 a month in income, that's what they need. That's ugly, jeez Louise. All right, there you go, that's better. 5,000 a month, that's what their income needs are. We'll, we'll, we'll put a asterisk here for just a second, we'll talk about that in a second. 5,000 a month in income is what they need. They got 750 from old Barb. So they need forty-two fifty a month is what they need right now. Forty-two fifty a month. 
So Larry's initial thought was to take Social Security and be reduced to about, I think he said 2200 bucks or something like that at 62. I said, you know, don't do that. Uh, Larry's a little bit younger by six months or so, but he's a man and uh, presumably Barb's going to survive him. So we do not want him to take Social Security early. I don't have any qualm with her taking it early, but we do not want him to. All right, so they need forty-two fifty a month without Cobra, and so it's going to come from the cash. All right, so forty-two fifty a month, and that's what they're going to need until Social Security kicks in. So from and his full retirement age is sixty-six. So from sixty the year sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, and sixty-five, they need four years of forty-two fifty a month. So we times that by twelve. That means, and I don't need, I don't, off the top of my head, I don't know that. So we take our trusty calculator, go 4250512. They need 51000 a year for four years. All right. So we're just going to say simply 205000 bucks. is what they need total. 205000 That's what they need for the next four years without touching Social Security. Take it from the cash. All right. So now they're going to take the $300,000 from the cash. And they're going to use that fifty-one thousand a year. Of what they're going to use. So they're going to cash five years from now. They'll still have a hundred thousand dollars in cash at sixty-six. I should say when Larry is sixty-six. So does that make sense? Hundred thousand dollars of cash when Larry's sixty-six. So they're going to use that for right there. And that's going to reduce that cash. Now the best thing about that, because they're taken from the cash, is completely tax-free. There's no capital gain. There's no ordinary income distribution from an IRA or 401k. So in this case, as much as I would, I'd love for him to do Roth conversions and all that, don't mess with that because what's going to happen is next year, and it has to be next year, they'll cancel COBRA and go to ACA. I think he says a $200 a month premium. All right, that's it. So next year, they can't do it this year because Larry is making good money. I think he already had more than $60,000 from when he got laid off because of bonuses and whatnot from the previous year, which is taxable this year. So he cannot not get COBRA for this year, all right? So in this one year, he needs another 1,300 bucks a month. So $1,300 a month times 12. We take our trusty calculator. That's another $15,000 of COBRA. So this one year, he's gonna have another $15,000 coming out of this and he'll just take it from the cash account. That's what he should do without question. But next year, he'll literally have no income at all, none whatsoever. And so ACA will, and the funny thing is he's currently under a Blue Cross Blue Shield plan. ACA is Blue Cross Blue Shield. All the same docs and everything, a little bit higher deductible what they said, maybe a little bit higher copay, copay, but everything else is the same under his ACA plan because he's already in Blue Cross Blue Shield, which is one of the benefits of ACA, which I've learned, if you have Blue Cross Blue Shield, a lot of times it's just a seamless transition. The doc doesn't care. They just want to make sure they get paid. But if you're already a patient of the doc and you just transition from your old plan through your company's Blue Cross Blue Shield to the ACA, there's a seamless transition for the docs. You keep your docs, your doctors, and all that. Uh, you might just have to pay a little bit of a different premium for copays, and whatnot. But anyway, he has to pay this for the next 12 months or until the end of 2020 because he made so much money in the beginning of this year. Hope that makes sense. Next year, though, that'll fall off a cliff. So we're just going to use this broad number of $5,000 a month for simplicity once he gets off of COBRA. And now again, we're gonna take it from the cash. If you're pulling money from cash, it's not a taxable event. There's no income tax on that. Now you're gonna get a little bit of interest. 1% uh, on 300,000 bucks is 3,000 bucks a year if he's even getting that. It's not. It's literally nothing. But from a taxable perspective, this has just come tax-free because you've already paid tax on it. There's no tax whatsoever for taking money out of a cash account. There is tax for taking money out of IRA, so don't do that, especially because we want you to keep your income below, I think it's $64,000 for the premium credits on, on Obamacare. All right, so that makes sense. So, so far, so good. So now we're just going to say in four years, when he's 66, this will be worth uh, $400,000 in, in uh, investments, all right? Again, that's 66. So in this case, he has $500,000 in investments, all right, which is good. And he's going to be on social, and he's going to be on social security. We're going to say three. He needs there. We go. So he still needs five thousand dollars a month. He'll have five thousand dollars a month minus his social security. All right. Now on top of that, Barb's going to get a little bit of a bump up. All right, because she will get her spousal benefit when he files. His PIA is three thousand a month. So we know for a fact that she'll get a half that 
minus the fact she already taken a reduction because she took it early. So she's going to lose 25%. So she will get half of his PIA once he files uh, for his benefit minus what she already took. She already got an early uh, payout because she took out 62. She'll, she'll lose 25%. So she'll get fi- half of 30,000 is 1,500 minus 25%. She'll get 1125 because she will get a bump from 750 to 1125. All right. So now what we got there. So now we have between Social Security for old Barb and, and uh, what's the name? Larry, they got 4125 a month in just Social Security alone. All right. So that means they need $875 a month. We're going to times that by 12. 875 a month times 12 will give us how much they need over the course of a year. 875 times 12, that's 10,000 bucks. So they need $10,000 off this guy right here. All right, now you, they might need a little bit more because Medicare uh, will be uh, more than ACA, most likely, in terms of Part B is 144, Part D is 44. A supplemental Paul, I say you probably need you know six thousand bucks or so, another five hundred bucks a month. So we we'll even add to say they need fifteen thousand a year when you factor Medicare or on top of um, in a, on top of what they're paying for ACA. So fifteen thousand a year, we'll say they need fifteen thousand a year on a portfolio of five hundred thousand dollars. So we take our trusted calculator, fifteen divided by five hundred. And that's a 3% distribution yield. That's a no-brainer right there. So that's what Larry and Barb should do. Now, you can even say Larry should wait till 70 to take Social Security. Yeah, I don't think so. I, I, I get that, but I, that's what, see, it's, so I don't want to say Larry's adamant taking it earlier, but I, I said, no, I'm adamant not taking it earlier. No, don't do that. Taking at 70 versus taking a full retirement age is different. Uh, it just, yeah, it's one of those issues that I, I get it, but I don't. It's, uh, it's not enough of a benefit, generally speaking, in my opinion, unless there's some extraordinary uh, extenuating circumstance to take it at 70 over a full retirement age. Now, for me, I will, uh, just because my wife doesn't have much, but I presume, but I don't know. If I got laid off at 61 years old and I didn't have any money coming in, um, I might fully change my mind. As we see here today, my goal is to take at 70 for Charlotte to take at 62. But I, I, you know, I will not take at 62. That's not good. Not good. Especially when you have all this cash on the side. Not good at all. So can't do reverse mortgage because he doesn't have enough equity. Um, he, at this stage, he may or may not want to start taking withdrawals from his IRA. But I hate to say it, guys. His R- so don't forget, this is all tax-free. 15000 with 41000 of Social Security, this is all tax-free because a good portion is going to come from cash or the brokerage account. Now, even if he takes RMDs, you know, $250,000 RMD, let's say it's even for $400,000 at that point. That's uh, you know, 72 is RMDs on $400,000. You know, who knows? Four uh, percent. You know, that's for sixteen thousand bucks. All right. So even if he has a little bit of tax, there's no tax in Georgia. So the only tax he's worried about is the federal taxation there. So it's just not a big deal, man. So the taxes aren't an issue. Tax here is tax free. He's got fifteen thousand dollars. Let me just show you what that means. So we got. I'm going to show you. Let's say he's got sixteen thousand dollars of of, uh, of RMDs to cover his forty-one thousand or four thousand Social Security. All right, so we'll just show you what the tax rates look. Now, let me pause this. I'll do a. Actually, let me pause this. I'll do another video here. So we'll, we'll, we'll hang tight. We'll do the second part of this. Hold on.